Hi guys! So today's video is going to be my quarterly goals video, which is just where I take the last three months worth of goals, run over them, see how many of them I actually accomplished, and then I let you guys know what my upcoming goals are. The majority of my goals are reading and, <laughs> reading and writing related, hence why I actually mention them on my channel, because if they were just like regular old life goals, chances are you're like you guys wouldn't really care. There is still the occasional life goal thrown in there, uh, primarily just because self-improvement is still a good thing. Okay, so goal number one that I had for myself was to draw two more characters for character art for my first fantasy book that I'm writing. I've actually, I've finished the book entirely. I've done all of the hard edits and I'm gonna be having it professionally edited here coming up in September, but I intend to have kind of extras in the book. A lot of people I personally really love when there is character art and stuff for books. So I'm pretty decent at drawing, so I figured I would try and incorporate my own character art into my book. I'll show you guys my favorite one that I did. Um, all of my drawings I do basically with just mechanical pencil or regular pencil and then uh, different kinds of like charcoal and stuff. And then I take a picture of the drawing and then upload it and then print it off so that I don't get black smudges everywhere because for those of you that draw you know that your entire arm will be like covered in black. Anyway, um, this is actually my favorite drawing that I've done for my book and also one of my favorite characters. Sorry, the lighting gets really weird for some reason when I hold this up. But I intend to have a lot of the characters in the back of the book um, drawn out like that. And I actually, ah, I, my goal was to draw, I only had two more characters left. And I only ended up drawing one, so it's like I half accomplished that goal. The second goal I had for myself was to completely finish all of my hard edits for my book, and like I said a second ago, I did that. Everybody who has tried to write their own book or who is writing their own book knows that the editing cycle is basically an endless loop. It's kind of a never-ending process, but I finally done it. Goal number three was to start a blog, and that didn't happen. Goal number four was to read between 15 and 20 books, and that one I did do. Goal number five was to save for an editor, and uh, that like had to get accomplished, so yes, that one I did do. Goal number six was to look into a professional cover designer, and I kind of already have a cover for my book, but it's a pre-made cover, and it's actually pretty decent for a pre-made cover, a lot of times they're pretty cheesy looking. Um, but I have one already and it's all right, but I really wanted one that was specifically designed for my story and uh, I didn't think I was going to find somebody because there's kind of not a lot of options out there. But I did end up finding somebody I was really surprised and uh, just like my editor, I love them. Goal number seven was to write 50,000 more words in book two of my fantasy series and uh, that definitely did not happen. I actually already have over 70,000 words of book two written, so I feel like okay about it. The next goal I had for myself was to post more writing videos. I had, <laughs> I uploaded one video specifically about writing. It's uh, like tips to start writing. And then I made an original tag that can be done by both people on AuthorTube or people on BookTube. Uh, so that's, I mean, I did it, I just didn't do very many. If you guys have requests for specific writing videos that you would like to see, let me know because as of right now, I have a lot of things I'd like to share and talk about with writing, but I don't feel like I'm in a position to tell anybody else like how to write. So if you guys have videos you'd like to see, any kind of writing video, let me know. I would love to hear you guys' suggestions. Goal number nine was to update my website. This is gonna be a continuous goal on pretty much every list. Um, my website is primarily focused on my book, but there are a few other pages that have like my videos and stuff. So when I update it, it's just trying to put more recent videos up there. Anyway though, I did update my website, so that's a win. Goal number 10 that I had for myself was to host a giveaway. And uh, I actually ended up hosting two, and I'm currently hosting one right now, so this one is definitely a win. Adding up all of my fails and wins, I did accomplish at least half of my goals that I had for the prior season. Because I ended up accomplishing those goals, uh, I mean, I worked hard, but they were fairly easy to accomplish. I'm challenging myself by giving myself 14 goals this next quarter instead of 10. 
The very first summer goal I have for myself is to read between 25 and 30 books instead of 15 and 20 because last time I feel like it was a little too easy for me to accomplish that goal. I'm gonna push myself a little. Goal number two is to post at least two videos per week. This should be fairly easy for me as long as I post on Mondays and Fridays with Wednesday videos hopefully in there. But uh, there's a lot of birthdays coming up and my wedding anniversary is coming up and my sister's coming in town so recording might be a little more difficult. Goal number three is to do a final read-through of my entire book before I send it to my editor. Because uh, I'm getting it professionally edited in September, this technically has to get done in the, within like the next two months instead of three months, but shouldn't be a problem. I still, you know, I just can't actually think that it's completely perfect yet, so you guys know of your writers. It just is like never ending. Goal number four is to start an outline for the prequel series that I have. Uh, I have a lot of different writing ideas and they're not all tied down to this specific fantasy series I'm working on right now, but I do have a prequel series in mind. It might end up being like a duology or a trilogy, uh, so I want to start outlining that because that's what I've been thinking about a lot lately. The next goal is kind of carrying on from a failed goal last time, and that was to write 50,000 more words in book two. Even though I have the prequel series in mind and other series in mind that I want to work on, I don't want to be one of those authors who puts a book out and then takes like five years to put the next one out. I want to be diligent about it, so definitely want to make sure I start getting this taken care of now. Speaking of those other story ideas though, I do want to start getting those a little more fleshed out. Right now there's kind of ideas in my brain and I want to actually put them on paper. So the next two goals are encompassing both outlines for another fantasy series I have in mind that's very different from the one I'm writing now, and then another series that isn't fantasy at all, but I think it's a really cool idea. The next goal, again, like I said before, is to make sure I continuously update my website. Um, <laughs> so when I went to update my website this last time, I, you know, because I'm looking at older videos and trying to replace them with newer videos, I, uh, I clicked play on an old video of mine and I was super, super embarrassed by it. I talked in such a high-pitched voice. I don't understand why that happened. Anyway, the next goal I have for myself is a personal goal and it's to exercise at least three times per week, uh, which really at this point I should definitely do because so many of the things I enjoy doing don't require movement. I need to like get up off of my butt and move around a little bit. The next goal has to do with my job, which is teaching private violin lessons. So uh, sometime around the end of summer, kind of going into fall, I would like to do another recital for my students. So yeah, I need to like book a venue and get that all figured out and scheduled. The next goal is another personal goal and it's one that is very necessary and that is to clean for 10 to 20 minutes every other day. Now that I've started listening to audiobooks, this should be the easiest goal ever to accomplish. The next goal is a continuation of a failed goal from before, and that is to start a blog. If you guys have any advice for blogging or, you know, any ideas for what kinds of things you would like to see on a blog, let me know because that's not something that I... I don't really, like, read blogs uh, or anything very often. I just know that some people prefer written format over video format, or there are things that I might be able to express better in written form than visually. The next one, again, is a continuation of a failed goal from before, and that is to draw that last character that I still haven't gotten around to drawing. And the last goal is to start the extras for book one, so like the glossary or like all the fun little extra stuff that's going in the back of the book. I have a lot of really cool ideas for uh, what I want to put in the back, but I, I don't want to talk about them yet because they kind of have to do with the story and wouldn't really make sense outside of it. So anyway, I want to get those things started too. That's it though for all of my summer goals. Let me know what your guys' goals are for the upcoming months or weeks or rest of the year, anything like that. I would love, love, love to know. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the little bell icon so you get notified when I post new videos, and check out some of my videos right over here. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.